Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I'm going to show you how to make a magic book. I thought that with spooky season coming up it was an awesome way to do something really fun and different and creative that looks really cool and that you can use as a prop or for decoration. For materials I'm using 2mm EVA foam and I'm also going to be using three different fabrics. These are all from Cosplay Fabrics. I'm using a textured brown pleather, a hand spun kadi, and I'm also going to be using our original oil slick. I'm also going to be using polyfill. You don't need a ton of this so if you have just a little bit that's okay. You'll also need a ruler some scissors, a knife or a box cutter or exacto blade works, and some pens. I like metallic ones because they show up pretty well. I'm also using this EL wire. This is something you can buy online and it's remote controlled. And I'm also going to be using this shadow box. You can get any shape or any uh, measurement to your preference. Uh, this is you don't need it, but I recommend it is using nitrate gloves. And we're also going to be needing glue, hot glue and hot glue sticks, as well as contact cement glue. So first thing I'm doing is just measuring the shadow box and I'm just doing the sides and the width of the shadow box. And I'm going to take those measurements and what I'm going to do is just cut out the two millimeter EVA foam to that size and that's going to be the front, the side, and the back of the book, like the flaps. Then I'm going to do my design. Since I'm just doing squares, it's just straight lines, but you can do any sort of design. This is just to show you how to go about making this uh, little proper decoration. So once I have my design, I just cut it out and I cut, a, I cut out a smaller one and that's going to be for that accent that kind of sits behind uh, the very front flap. I just take apart the shadow box and what I'm going to do next is kind of simulate the book pages using this textured fabric. This is why I love this cutty fabric. And I just need to cover three of the sides. So all I do is just make sure that all of the pins are turned in so nothing gets caught and I just cut a strip and glue it right on. I'm just using hot glue for this. So the trick is to work in pieces just little by little and pulling on the fabric that way you won't get any sort of like wrinkling or anything like that. And once I have all of the main sides glued on, then what I do is cut off some of the X's, not, not completely, but just so that it's not totally overlapping the borders. And once that is done, then all I do is cover all of those foam pieces that I cut out before with the fabrics that I want to cover them in. And all I do is just cut maybe a quarter of an inch bigger than the EVA foam piece and glue it all into place. I've shown this technique before. I love fabric covered EVA foam. I think it's awesome and it's something that you can do for a lot of projects. For the main book part, I kind of place all of the pieces so that uh, they're one next to each other and as you can see the center piece, the spine, uh, I try to leave a little tiny gap between the pieces and I just work little by little. I glue all the pieces down and then I cut off all of the excess and make sure that all of the corners are also cut off. Once that's done, I also cut out the middle window part and fold all of the excess in. Once that's done, I mark where I want that accent piece on the little window and I use the cement, the contact cement, where um, those pieces are going to go. And you saw me marking that earlier, that way I know exactly where to place it because once you're, that's glued on, it's not coming off. So I like marking it down and then once they're both dry, putting them both pieces together, 
and pressing down. Next is detailing. This is you is totally optional. I'm just using some brads so that I can get just a little bit of like a oomph put <laughs> into it. But this is again totally optional. That's why I didn't include it in the uh, material list. Um, you can use trim. You can use whatever you want. And um, then I'm going to be doing a little buckle, a little, uh, some pieces that I cut out. Same thing, covered the EVA foam with the brown pleather. And I use contact cement because it is pleather, I use contact cement. So assemble everything. And once that's done, then we're gonna need to cut out a little hole for where the cable for the lights are gonna go. So I first start with just the back flap and I just cut out a rectangle. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. So once you have that cut, then you take your shadow box and kind of place it how you'll have it and flip it. And then I just take the marker and kind of draw out where that uh, little hole is going to be. That way they both match and you just cut that out and that way you have that little entry point for uh, the connection. Once you have that, make sure that if you have any uh, excess or anything on the fabric that you just glue all of that down on that little, little hole that you cut out. This is why I recommend using gloves for this part. Um, it's because that way you can clean your glass and put it in and that way you won't have any smudges or any finger fingerprints or anything. That way it looks super clean. Next is just kind of stuffing the uh, shadow box with some of that polyfill. And you don't need a ton, but you can kind of see if you want to make it really fluffy or if you want to make it really packed. Totally up to you. And then what I do is that strip of light that I bought, it is self-adhesive. So I just work in parts and kind of tape it down, like remove that, that uh, adhesive backing and little by little kind of go in as much of a circle as, as I can without um, bending, the, bending it too much. Also making sure that uh, my entry point is uh, completely clear once I like glued it, that little hole that I cut out earlier. So we're basically assembling the uh, shadow box again, making sure that it all fits. And then it's just kind of stuff, <laughs> making sure that the stuffing doesn't come out and closing those tabs on the side. Once that's done, then we can uh, put the cable through that little hole on the back uh, flap that we cut out earlier and you just kind of feed it through and once you have it into place then it's just making sure that this like book cover um, fits really really nice and snug around that shadow box and I like to glue it into place especially the front because it's the most visible part you don't have to do this but I think that it makes it look the best that way it's not uh, super floppy because it is very um, very lightweight and um, once you have that whole front glued then you can do the back flap I don't want to glue the back too much just in case I have to reopen it or kind of finagle with the uh, EL wire or anything like that and any little bits that are left that I felt that I should glue down, I do that and that's it. And then just kind of assembling the little buckle and then it's just connecting it and your magic book is done. I hope you like this project. I hope it helps you with your cosplays or your spooky designs and stuff that you're doing. And of course, I hope that you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.